lack of sun is any indication that the summer left swiftly in the six. Hey Visionaries, A back on your screen with another vlog. Before we head to another one of Carnival Spices class, we're gonna open up this package. I just got home from work and it started off pretty much how it ended. So it's just been one of those days. No complaints over here, it was a good day, but hold up, hold up, hold up. Ooh. This one's heavy. Got two pieces, which I can try on for you real quick before I switch into my yoga outfit. I'm just gonna put on some athlete. Ooh. Oh no, I did it again. Are you serious? No wonder it was $700. I was wondering how two pieces for $700, because the risk is expensive, but it's not that expensive big for me anyway. The review said that this one ran too small, so I went for a size down, but it looks like it might be too big. And I got two. <laughs> anyway, I did switch out this blazer though. If you watched the vlog a couple weeks ago, oop, let me open the button. I bought this blazer in my usual size, double zero, but it was tight. It fit perfectly. See, this has a little more give. I feel like I can live in this one. You know, like when things just fit just right, like these pants, I gained weight in the last couple weeks. They're really tight on me. So I'm like, let me just get some things that just have a little more room for growth, you know? I feel like it's not as nice. Like it doesn't give as much of a tailored silhouette. Sometimes you have to sacrifice comfort for functionality. Navy blue, and I mean, with the way the skies are gray, this is gonna be the perfect blazer to wear tomorrow to work. But anyways, let me try on that dress and I'll check with you guys in a sec. I switched the angle so hopefully you can see all of it in its fullness. I love this color and the material. I mean, Aritzia never misses. It feels like luxury. It's a nice stiff material. I wish it was less pleated. It's really giving schoolgirl, and that wasn't really the vibe. It's not really giving professional and especially since I just posted a TikTok on workwear and interview inspo. Head over there if you haven't checked it out yet. I figure I gotta live what I say. It passes the fingertip test though, and thank God I got this in this size. Because if I went for my usual size, I wouldn't have been able to zip the side. This is snug as a bug, but I really like it. Anyway, you can let me know what you think. I'm gonna switch into some aloe or lulu, so I'm ready for this class, and I'll bring you guys when we get there. My name is Veria. This is my second year with Carnival Spice. Just finished the first six weeks of Sweat with Spice, a summer collaboration with Forward with Design. I've been dancing for all my life, basically. Started in church when I was three years old, and well, I still got the moves on now, two <laughs> decades later. And I'm so happy to be part of the Carnival Spice team. It has been an amazing two years, and so many more to come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tori. Um, I am a returnee from Carnival Spice. I first joined in 2019 after calling myself an imposter of a dancer. But I have learned majority of my styles off the streets and on film. Kind of a visual learner. Uh, with Carnival Spice, I actually learned how to choreograph my own pieces and actually got a lot better with being in crowds and learning how to be a lot more social. So, thank you to Carnival Spice. Carnival Spice Fitness Class. It's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing that you do is have fun. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, if you're gonna have fun, the sweat comes with it. Yes. Yeah. So, um, no, it's, it's not so much the dance, it's more fun. So, um, pick a spot in the room where you feel comfortable, don't hit nobody. So,
Susana, que esse cara é bom. You know what I love about this class? I'm so self-conscious when I start, but then once you get into the flow of things, I don't even care how stupid I look, it's just so much fun to get the body moving. Just feel like you're in your body for a change and out of the head. If you're an overthinker like me, you know how big that is. But anyways, me and my poofy hair, we're gonna go with Shakir somewhere. So depending on the vibes, I might show you a little bit of what we get into. Otherwise, I'll see you guys. Okay, what did you order? have ourselves the protein salmon of choice a hero salad because we're trying to get strong up in here got your kale got your guac oh, broccoli in there mm -hmm. your broccoli your beets and your sweet potato a little more protein for your head top and then some extra arugula for a little razzle dazzle they did give us an avocado dressing but i'm gonna save it i'm gonna take it home and i'm gonna go with the olive oil lemon situation so that's been my end nice and clean we're trying to do clean eating over here <laughs> happy lifestyles going into 2025 snatched and happy on the inside forget about the body on the outside how do you feel yes i love that you're looking forward to 2025 when we're not even done q4 yet that part that's a really good point you're a four thinker there's been some challenges within it, like people, you know, fall out or whatever, but I'm not doing that. So I was like, let me go on Instagram. So I have Happy Baby Friday. The way today started and how sunny it is now, I couldn't waste the opportunity to go to a rooftop patio. So we're going to go. I'm actually terrified. I don't know why. It's not like I don't go to cafes by myself, but something about going somewhere like a lounge, restaurant, or bar. It's just trippy for me. And then I think about it. When I went to Vegas, I ate by myself. I chilled by the bar by myself. I even went to a couple shows by myself because the friends I went with weren't into it. But something about doing things solo dolo in your own city, I don't know why it gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be a big girl. I'm gonna go and bring you guys along to show you Skylight at the W Hotel. I've been wanting to go there since May. And the irony is, I was like, wait for a warmer day. And although it's sunny, it's still kind of cold. So I'm gonna put a blazer on top just in case it's cold up there. Cause you know, rooftop patios are always cooler than patios on ground level, right? This is a new era of my life. And if you watched the last Patreon exclusive, you know exactly why. I feel like I'm not just living alone as in I live alone in this apartment, but I really just watch the Patreon episode and you'll know, but okay. I'm gonna get ready to leave. I'm gonna put on a little bit of a face and then we're gonna go. Pray for me. Got a quick outfit check. I just popped the tags on these. It's been a minute since I've seen tags this big. This is from Savile Skirt. This set, you can buy it separately, but you know me, the set is always setting. I love this knit material, which is perfect. Cause like I said, it's a little bit of a chilly day. Not as hot as I like it to be for end of August. I decided to wear it the way that they have it pictured on the site with the last bit unbuttoned. Although you could keep it up like this if you want to be very cutesy, very demure. But I just feel like it's not really doing anything like that. So I would wear heels with this, <laughs> but the way I'm feeling, I don't want to do too much. So I'm just going to put on some sandals, my bag, and a blazer, and we're good to go. So why is my heart be racing? Am I okay? I've been wanting to come here since the beginning of the season, like May, but they were closed when I came on a Sunday. It's nice when there's no one here. Things look better when there's no one sitting in the chair. I've been I'm 
Happy Friday! Yippee yay! Yippee yay! Anyway, Aritzia, I swear, it's on some Amazon Prime type of time. I ordered this yesterday afternoon. It is Friday, 9:38, and I got a rat-a-tat -ta on my door. By the time I opened the door, the guy was at the elevator. He is not playing about his deliveries today. I'm like, thank you. He's like, you're welcome. Have a blessed day. Not my camera dying when I was just about to tell you my goals. Maybe that means I have to keep them close to my heart. And by the way, yes, I didn't put my straps on. I've had this set for so long. I bought it either just before the pandemic or during, are we even allowed to use that word on the platform? I don't know. So much censorship on YouTube. But I used to live in sweats back in 2020. Feels like a completely different time. Before that, you would never catch me outside my house in sweatpants. I got another size. I just felt like that one is too big, but at the same time, I'm worried this one is too small. So we shall see. And then once I figure it out, then I'll order the pants to match. So I have one good fall suit, because currently I have a black blazer and black pants but I actually hate wearing all black everything. Yes, I know it's sophisticated, but I feel like I'm going to a funeral every day. I mean, one could say work is like, finish that sentence. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it does feel tight, but like, look, it fits way better here. Not as tight as I remember it being when I first ordered it. Yeah, I think this is my size. What do you guys think? I just want like a really tailored, because when things fit well, it just looks so much more expensive. Anyway, on the roster for today is work, 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 work. I'm gonna go get my nails done because uh, you see that gap? Gaping, it's so bad. Like the last week and a half, I do my nails every month. I'm gonna sit down one day and do a budgeting video with you guys because there's a reason why. I could do them more often, just like I could move out of here and sometimes when I want to do like a cooking vlog with you guys. I really wish that I don't live here because that part of my house is so embarrassing. I should be proud and happy that I even live alone and I'm able to support myself given how Toronto is so expensive. But I still have a little bit of shame. Like, I feel like I should be. Should be is such a bad word. I wish I was doing more at this stage in the game, but I know Star Guard's changed a lot. Being diagnosed, diagnosed, Lord of mercy. Being diagnosed changed a lot of things in my life, and I don't know where I would be, but I know I wouldn't be here if I could see perfectly. But, story for a Patreon pod. So, there's times when I wanna show you like what I'm cooking for breakfast today, for example, but then I'm like, I hate the way my kitchen looks. And I know some of you guys don't care, you just wanna see what I'm cooking. But like, I like when I go on Instagram or TikTok and it's like just very sleek and sophisticated. I don't know. And I feel like things do pop off more when they're aspirational. Like no one's aspiring for a white fridge at this point. So it kind of sucks because this is what we're working with. Like I could move out, but do I want to pay $1,200 more a month? This place is already to me personally overpriced for what it is. And I'm, <laughs> All things considered, I pay a really good amount for where I live, like location, what the building offers, but like for a bachelor apartment, I need to get over it, I don't know. It's so funny, when I first started vlogging with you guys, I did not business. I showed you every piece of this 360 square foot apartment, but as time goes on and I see what really pops off on Instagram, it's like I just, I just don't have it here and I feel like I'm fighting an uphill battle. So I gotta keep it with the personality and the adventures outside, because I'm, you know I'm always in these streets, but actually I'm not. <laughs> That's probably why I haven't vlogged in a couple weeks, because I've just been low key, but. Anywho, nails tonight, I probably won't bring you because I've shown you in montages a million I'm times. back, it's a little while later. I made a big mistake. I put on this dress because I haven't worn it the entire summer. It's also from Savile Skirt and I love it. It's very, it's very Nora Smith. <laughs> So today we're gonna to be making, I don't know what from scratch, I don't watch her ish. But anyway, this is the color I got, actually inspired by my dress. I wanted something that was still light, cause you know, September is about to be mild, but hopefully not cold. I really wanted to do a chocolate brown, but I think it's too, it's too soon for that. So maybe next month, maybe for October. But Friday night and your girl is inside again. <laughs> So I don't really have much to share and show you. I'll check in with you probably 
at this rate on Monday if I get those tickets to see Usher Babe. I'm so excited, like. I had a dream that I met him. Is that weird? Because I'm not going to be buying tickets like that where I would even have the opportunity to meet him. But I had a dream that I was backstage. And I'm like, oh my God, do you understand that I was like a little, little child watching? You remind me of a girl that I once knew. No, I can't sing, but whatever. <sighs> so many memories. So many memories. The last album, the one he dropped this year. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to speak bad on Usher, but mm -hmm. timing shipments. I don't actually know what this is. I'll open it in a second, but ooh. anyway, I was just at the pool for a little over an hour. I didn't bring you guys down with me because you've been by the pool a million one times, and I just really wanted to unwind. It was good. I wish it was a little hotter. Can't lie. And the sun is hiding in between and peeking beyond the clouds, but. Oh, so now it came through. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but my voice note is not downloading. Any, anyway, I have an hour to eat, and then we're gonna go to a rooftop patio to get some content. Summer's not done yet, so I'm excited to take you guys to one that's not too far away from here, and I've been wanting to go there for two years. But before we do, let me just show you. I ordered this from JLux Label. I think two weeks ago they had a sale and then I thought about it I'm like girl you should have just waited because they're gonna have another sale for this weekend which is probably even better gosh I would actually wear this today to the rooftop I bought this for a trip that I'm not going on anymore it's a two-piece set and I'll insert the picture of the model because I don't have time to put this on plus I know my hair looks crazy I need to fix it before we go out there's a couple pieces that I bought for past trips and then when they arrive I'm like this is gonna take so much space in my carry-on, and you know me. Everywhere I go, I only pack carry-on. I don't wanna waste time looking for my luggage or risk losing it all together. I've heard too many horror stories. I didn't order anything from, from Sephora, so let me just zoom in and make sure this is actually mine before I... What does that say? A-C-I. Oh, I know what this says. Wow, that came quick. I ordered this two days ago. Well, I mean, $10 for shipping, that part. So my friend is visiting from Stockholm. I just wanted to get him a little something. He's so thoughtful. I felt like the least I could do is, why do I feel like these are too small? Please let them be stretchy, because if they fit me, they definitely won't fit him. These were so hard to find. I didn't even know there was the wonderful world of workout or waiting gloves. But, you know, I've seen the ones with the fingers, he doesn't like those. So I searched high and low and ever less came through with the full finger gloves. I go to Indigo next week and pick up a notebook for his girlfriend because I remember he said in a conversation we had that she likes to write. I'm gonna do a whole nother vlog of all the activities we're getting into and I'm so excited to bring you guys along. He's a friend that I usually travel with. So we've been to Paris, we've been to Morocco, we went to Madrid and we also went to different parts of Portugal last year, so I'm excited for him to come back here since he hasn't been in years and his girlfriend's never been, but let me not say too much about that because I need to get ready for our patio date today. It's hot. Ooh, we were not prepared for the heat of the walk here, so hopefully it'll be refreshing once we sit down. You know what your first drink's gonna be? No. I just have to lift it higher for you. You know, every time you're in my vlog, it's just your shoulders. Garlic, black truffle. Uh, the penne, penne sugar? sugar? Yeah. What's that? It's like one toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. Yes. Ready? Yeah. 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 What am I doing? Don't so, wait, what? Grab the camera? Three, two. What's the password? 100, 200, question mark, capital. It's my work. Oh, this camera's not as good. Three, two, probably not. Last time you ordered this, and I got the Papa Deli, it was hot. Mm -hmm. 
I could eat two portions of this at this point. Wow, this is beautiful, Kevin. You have to try it. Oh, then never mind. I'm running late. I'm gonna meet up with my godmother today, so I'm gonna bring you to Hyde Park. Sorry, I left my wind muff back home, so you're gonna be hearing a lot of it. This looks good. It does. He came here, and then I was going to school. I was working, so so I couldn't afford. Okay, it's coming from here to there. And then the pretty one, which is the male. Oh, I see them. So there's one. Oh, this one's more blue. That This one's more brown over here. But this one over here is more blue. Oh, this one's gorgeous, Alicia. Oh, look at the blue in it. Are they native to Canada or do they come from somewhere else? Oh, yeah. All the times I've come here, I never even noticed they have a little zoo. It's a cattle? Yes, from the island. Domestic beef cattle. The breed was developed in the highlands of Scotland from two sets of stock, one originally black and the other reddish. That's why that one's brown? Yeah, one's caramel or cream. Cream. Oh. I hope they're not lonely. These mountains of South America and are built for high altitudes and cold weather. The other ones all had friends. They're over on your right. Yeah. Oh, now you're kissing the boss? Oh, sorry. A dog park where they can be off their leash. You said on the one, which I think was on the phone. So I'm getting good at transcribing, but there's some stuff I got a little like confused. No okay, if a palao be too busy. That's why I wanted to send a quick yext. Good evening, since we kissed yesterday. So that's why I'm like, maybe it's a different day. Because I missed her yesterday. I don't. And throw them in the inside, because it's a bottomless bucket. When you're looking for something in that bag, Ended up stopping off to get a couple things since tomorrow's a holiday. The stores will be closed, and I also have to prep and plan for the week. But that was amazing. I'm so glad I got to spend some time with my godmother and make new memories and have new experiences. Sometimes you can go back to the same place. I literally used to go to High Park. If you watch the live vlogs from the pan, 2020. I don't know. Maybe they're archived by now. But I used to go like once every other week. And High Park is kind of far from me, but I always just find peace there. So it's nice to have a new experience and go with my godmother. Tomorrow morning, I might hang out with her again to go to the air show and I'll bring you guys along because every time I try to show you in the air, the planes, so I could see it too in post bro when I zoom in, couldn't see anything. You know, I'm still trying to see Usher tomorrow. I don't know. But so far, this long weekend has been amazing compared to some of the previous ones. If you're part of the Patreon fam, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm starting a new chapter of my life and I feel so good about it. I don't feel good about these bumps though, but I feel so good about just a lot of things. A lot of things that I can't even begin to get into here on YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is actually switch you off so I can start to do some stuff that's boring. You know, big girl stuff. And then I'll check in with you tomorrow. Morning. Happy Labor Day, happy Monday off. We're gonna get ready to go to the air show. 
because we heard all the sounds yesterday and Shirai suggested. Let's go down to the lake shore, which I haven't been to the west end of the lake shore in a while. So I'm not going to pack my Chanelis because that's doing too much if we're just sitting by a park. Also, this outfit, I wanted to wear it, but summer switched up so quick. Oh, I'm going to have to put on something way thicker. I'm thinking about wearing my airport outfit, that aloe set that I always put on whenever I travel. Because you know how cold planes are, right? Today's colder than a plane. And yesterday was 30. This is how people can't cold. Trust God. I am Alpha and Omega, El Shaddai, Redeemer, the Bread of Life, El Roy, the Good Shepherd, the True Vine, Elohim, Abba, the Light of the World, Elion, the Way, Truth, and Life, Rock, Yahweh and Shalom, Yahweh and Shalom, the Word of God, the Potter. <laughs> so you're okay to be in the vlog today? That's okay. I'm over one year. <laughs> It is securely. It just. Car. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I hope they let me bring my camera to the usher contact. Switched into this fit real quick. This is not originally what I wanted to wear, but the weather, whew, if it was freezing today, I can only imagine what it's gonna feel like tonight. So I'm probably gonna put a Cardi or a duster jacket on top of this, but I figured the long pants, they're two-ply, I mean they're double A, double lined or whatever. Two-ply, that's to wear the paper. Either way, I should be okay. I really wanted to wear a skirt or a dress and a darker color too. You know, Beyonce had silver as her dress code. I looked up and there was nothing. I just saw a lot of black, but I don't wear black. I used to wear black at almost every retail job I had, so I'm off of that. But anyway, pack my bag. Pray to God they let me bring you guys. If not, then I'm gonna have to go to work and lock you guys up. I'm so scared, but it's okay. It is okay. I came into this world solo. I can do a few things solo until I find my tribe. And people who like to do the same thing as me, because in my old life, I would usually do what people wanted to do. And if the vlogs are still up, you can check and see all the things that I used to do. <laughs> Let me not even get into it. The Patreon fam already knows. So that's all I'm gonna say. Wow, I'm shedding a lot today. A lot of a lot of a lot. I have an hour, which gives me just enough time edit and schedule my pods. So let me do that and I'll see you guys later. We have designed a memory device capable of preserving and projecting Usher Raymond's extensive body. 16,000 years of data. 100 million words. Recorded, archived, and preserved. Inclusive of 30 years of a career. I can't to share with you 
my story. Hey, I'm a proud. They gon' know my name.
This is how we do it in the A, yo. for Toronto, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so listen to us. Yeah. Listen, Tina. Not be real life you don't even understand i was getting in my head the first half of the concert because i'm like oh my gosh i bought these tickets they're so close to the stage and sometimes i can't even follow where he is like i'm trying to point so you guys can see and half the time i think i'm pointing at the dancers and not him or i'm pointing at the back part i don't know i'll see in post pro but what i do know is i was pointing and i'm like i hope i'm filming because this is the part where he comes into the audience and he tries he came up to me, guys, did you see? Because I saw, oh my gosh, I hope my bra was not showing that part. The group of girls behind me like, girl, I was like, ah. <laughs> like usually, you know, I keep it composed, but no. But no, that was, that was just a sign that if there's anything in your life that you want to do, I know this sounds so dramatic for no reason, but I was so afraid of going to this concert alone. I must have said it 59,000 times in this vlog. Like, I don't know if I should go. I really want to go, but I don't want to go because my friend was supposed to go, but then he couldn't. And I was like, you know what? I need to start doing more things for me. Everything that's been happening in the last few years, some of which I've shared on here, most of which I share on Patreon, and some I, some I still get close to my heart. It's been a lot. So I really appreciate the small moments. For some of you guys, they're probably like, he just came by and st stood on your seat and sang to everybody. Like, it's not that serious, Alicia. But for me, it was just like confirmation that I need to keep going with this next chapter of my life. And just as hard as it feels sometimes to lose vision and feel like I'm not in the world, I don't know how else to explain that. I just have to keep on going. I'm not gonna get emotional because it's really not so much about, I don't know what it is. Being blind sometimes is a trip, but it's not just blindness. It's just, if you only knew all the things that I've gone through, you'd be like, damn. Cause sometimes I think about it and I'm like, damn. So anytime something good happens, I'm like, damn. <laughs> so I just appreciate it more. And that's my cue to go wash off my face because I got work tomorrow. I gotta be in office at 8.30. And it's almost midnight, <laughs> so that part. Plus, am I not getting the same rotted bump that I had when I went to Jamaica? Like, seriously. So I'm gonna put that cream the dermatologist gave me the last time around, but I'm like, perfect timing, eh? Like, why did it have to come now? That part, but anyways, wrapping up the vlog here. So glad I got to share these moments with you, so glad. I'm gonna tell myself Usher came specifically for me. I was like hoping that he would not just take me on stage because he didn't, but like whisk me away. Cause like, it's gold in Toronto. I'm not trying to be here no more. But it has been a amazing, amazing week. Not just long weekend. I'm so grateful for the people that I got to share it with, all the people who see on this vlog, just for the experiences and how much of a shift your mindset can make in the things that you start to see unfold in your life. And then on another note, I have recorded two podcasts because I wanted them up in time, but I'm going to re-record both of them because this has put me in a whole nother mind state and I just, what was once is no more. So I have so much more in store. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.